Hi, I'm Drew. And I'm Kathy. And we're back in the river again. Picking our ass a bit. Yay. Beautiful day. Yay. Okay, I got a bottle. What something or other. It says registered not to be refilled. Sunlight Chemical Corp. Phillipsburg RI. It's got something up on the shoulder like a sun sunlight. And it's what we call a crap top. It's neither a crown top nor a cap top. It's a crap top. Yeah, and that's usually usually ends up in the bucket, but that's got that nice sun on the shoulder there. So not too crappy. Uh, toy lawnmower, I guess. Fletcher's. <laughs> Fletcher's Castoria. Is it machine made? I don't know. Yeah, I think it is. Yep. Oh well. It's a nursing bottle. Oh, no cute bunnies on it or kitties or anything, but it's a nurser. I don't know, should we save it for Laura? Sure, why not? I think I see a marble. I think I do. I think it is. Yay, I found a marble. Yay, we can Yay. Go home now. and it's a swirl. Don't go anywhere. I have to look for more marbles. Yay! It looks like a lean parent. It's little. Oh no, it's not one of those slick lean parents. It's a slick lean parent. Ah. Oh. Worcestershire sauce, but mm. it's a slick. It's old. Mm. Well, okay. Whiskey bottle coming up. Oh, it's got a fancy shoulder. Fancy shoulder and no embossing. Oh. Oh no. I think it's old. Sorry, it's not a Casper's. It's fancy though.
This looks like a foss. Can't even see it yet, but it looks like a foss. Yep. Let's see if it's an old one. As you know, we find so many of these. Well, it's a foss's flavoring extracts. I think I see a Sawyer's crystal bluing. Let's see if it's an old one. Oh, I think it is. Yep. Common bottle, but this is the older version. Blown in molds. Just aqua, I believe. Not any of the wacky colors. Oh, this looks interesting. Oh, it's a JSP bottle. Really? I got a JSP bottle. I haven't looked it over for damage yet. It's, I'm already excited. It's too late. <laughs> wow. We've never found one of these here before. Kathy says she found a JSP bottle. That's exciting. Let's go see. I hope it's good. I think it's good. Yay. <laughs> good for you. Wow. Well, this beats the Sawyer's crystal bluing. Yeah, by a long shot. <laughs> okay, very good. Yay. I see a mug. Is this hole? No, it's not. Oh, I wonder what the design was on it. Let's see what it was, if we can. Loving bear, tender loving bear. I just pulled up this milk. It is an HS holder, but it's got a very unusual shoulder treatment. 
store bottle. That's what I was going to say. It says store there on the seal. And instead of having the cross hatched pattern on the shoulder, it's got like a swirl pattern. pattern. So, it says store on the bottom too. Yeah, better than the typical holder that we find. It's a keeper. Probably already have it, but we'll see. HS holder store bottle. Okay. See, instead of having the cross hatched pattern on the shoulder, it's got a swirly pattern. And it says store in the seal. Yep. And on the base. It looks like it's got pot stones in the glass. Uh, either that or something's living in there. <laughs> I don't know. I shook it a couple of times. They didn't come out. Okay. I see an ink. Wow! It's blue. It's machine made, but it's blue. What do you got? I got a cobalt inkwell. Wow. I gotta clean this up. I got a cobalt inkwell. Oh, let me see. Ooh, nice. It's my find of the day. It's machine made, but yeah. I like it anyway. Yeah. Well, your milk is, the store bottle's a pretty nice find, too. But this is nice. Yay. Yay. Hey, cobalt ink. a weird shape. Let's see what this is. I still don't know. Oh, there's a leg. Oh no, it's a headless thing. Oh, it's a headless thing. It's a headless person. Maybe someday I'll find the head. I think I see an ink. That's an ink. And blown in mold. No special color. And I don't know that there's anything embossed on it. Check condition. Well, so far so good. Kathy an found an ink. Found an ink. It's not cobalt. Oh. 
That's nice. Blown in mold. That's good. Aqua. Doesn't say anything. It's a nice bubble in the front there. Yeah. Yay. Very good. Drew's got something here. Maybe. Yep. Yep, it's oh, one of those green uh, prune juices. It's not as fancy as the other um, Art Deco one we found a few videos ago, but... Yeah, it's a green prune juice jar. <laughs> it's still, you know, like a, what, 1930s, 40s prune juice. Green. We got another find here. I see it. Here it comes. There it is. Hey. Juice. Yep, but this is this is the nicer one. With the ribs. Yeah. This is the Art Deco one. And I think it's a greener green, I'm not sure, but I think it's I think it is. Can you see? Yeah, maybe it's the same. But this one has the vertical lines design. Whereas the other one is plain. Okay, prune juice. <laughs> yeah. Two bottles. <laughs> <laughs> one each. <laughs> that ought to do it. Oh my gosh, you gotta see this. You gotta see what is actually in the river here. There is an entire typewriter in the river here. All right, I see what might be a whiskey bottle. I don't see any embossing on this side. Oh. Hmm. Wow, droopy lip. Ooh. Wow. I gotta show this to Drew. This might be our find of the day. Kathy says she's got a Dietville Glassworks cylinder whiskey. Want a gloppy lip? Wow. Look at the color. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. I don't even know what to call this color. It's like yellow, amber, olive. The olive part might be from the river. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Show us the base. Dietville Glassworks. Philadelphia. That's a beauty. 
that will go nice next to the Weeks and Potter in the front window. Oh yeah, we got to rearrange that front window. Wow. <laughs> wow is right. <laughs>